welcome back to my channel, the go-to place for intentional and low impact living. So today I'm gonna to be showing you guys what is in my bag. Um, this is the bag I take with me everywhere. It has everything in it, so let's get to it. So first we're just gonna start with the bag. My bag is from Everlane. It's super cute. It can hold pretty much everything. Um, I love Everlane so much because they are super ethical and sustainable. This bag I actually got from Poshmark. Um, I didn't get it from Everlane's website because I was like, if I can find this second hand, that'd be amazing and it came in great condition, basically new. The bag originally I think is 175 I can't remember, but I got it off of Poshmark for 125 and for basically it being brand new condition, I think it's great and obviously shopping second hand is one of the most sustainable things you could actually do. So it's like doubly great because it's a sustainable brand and I got it second hand. So let's dive in. So the first thing I keep with me is my reusable coffee cup. Um, I don't drink coffee. I usually drink matcha or hot chocolate. Um, but this one I actually got from Target. It's super cute. It came with a plastic straw, but I just use um, a stainless steel straw that I have. Um, but this is super cute. It fits perfectly in my car um, and I take this with me everywhere. So next I have my sunglasses. Um, I don't know how sustainable Ray-Bans are, but I got them as a gift a long time ago, so I just keep them and use them whenever I need them. Um, I usually keep them in my car, if not in my bag, um, but I think they look, you know, super cute. I think they look good. The next one on the list is my planner. I take this with me everywhere. It has everything I need. Um, what I love about the Passion Planner is that um, it just has so many different ways to like write out your schedule um, and different ways for you to take notes and it's just super cute and I feel like I can just do everything with it and it has my life so I'm in love with this. I don't know if this brand is sustainable or not. Um, I do know that they give back um, when you purchase a planner but I do know when I got this I got it off of Amazon and it didn't come wrapped in plastic which obviously isn't ideal, so I wonder if I ordered it directly from them, if it wouldn't have come in plastic. So I don't know if you guys have owned a passion planner before. If you have, let me know in the comments below. Um, and if you ordered it from them, let me know if it came in plastic or not, because I'm curious. So the next thing I have is my little pouch that contains like my boba straw, um, even though I don't drink boba, but this is like good for like shakes or smoothies. I take this one with me. And then I also have um, a regular one as well. Um, I usually only use them if I'm drinking like a smoothie or a matcha or something like that because I feel like it's really not necessary to even use a straw. <laughs> um, but I do feel kind of fancy when I use one. Um, but definitely if I'm drinking something thick, I definitely like to use my straws. And then I have a cutlery set as well. Um, this is a spoon, a knife. It didn't, well, this knife didn't come with that, but I don't know where the other knife is. <laughs> um, I can't get this one out of the, the bag. Struggling here. This one actually broke, but I still use it because you know, why not? Um, but these two are actually made out of coconuts. And this one is made out of bamboo. Uh, but they're super cute. I keep them with me. They're lightweight, but honestly going back like when I before I purchased these I would have just used cutlery that I already had at home and brought that with me because I don't think it's that heavy and you know Save money if you can. So next up is kind of my beauty makeup um, Little bag. This is in a stasher bag, which if you don't know stasher bags um, are a great alternative to single-use plastic baggies um, It's a great brand. They never ship in plastic so let's dive into the little bag. So the first thing I have, chapstick, and this one is from Lush and it comes in aluminum. It is Rose Lollipop Lip Balm. Um, it smells really good um, and I didn't see any bad ingredients in there. I know that some of their products like don't always have the best ingredients. I bought eyeliner from them the other day. And I was like, okay, great, because it comes in glass. I was like, let me try this out. And then when I got home, I saw that it had like two types of parabens in it and I was like, <sighs> back to the store I went and I was so frustrated. I was like, why? Why does it have to have parabens in it? Let's why? Um, but I do buy their um, chapstick because it comes in aluminum, which is 100% recyclable. So I still buy that from them. And then the next thing I just recently bought 
um, this lip conditioner balm from LA Cosmetics. Um, the top is bamboo and there's no plastic on the inside because a lot of times companies will do a bamboo top but then there's still plastic on the inside and I'm like, you're just greenwashing because what was the point of putting bamboo on top of plastic? It doesn't make any sense. And then the bottom is glass, which of course is 100% recyclable. So this color um, is like more of a tint. I'll show you guys what it looks like in another video. I keep trying to find like a low waist alternative to the Fenty lip gloss, which I'm in love with. So if you have any recommendations, please, please, please let me know in the comments below if you have found anything low waist that is similar to the Fenty Beauty lip gloss, please let me know. Next is um, Probiotics, and this is from a company called Seed. What I like about them is um, they send you refill packets every month, and then comes um, in mushroom packaging. So instead of using styrofoam, they use a mushroom packaging, which I think is pretty cool. Um, so I'm loving when brands are trying out different ways to package items that are sustainable and not plastic. Super cute, and I can just take this with me, put this in my purse, it's super tiny. Um, they give you, I have a bigger glass bottle at home, um, but I just keep the small one with me in case I forget to take my probiotics um, while I'm at home. And then the next, I just picked up this little um, kind of cuticle balm at Target the other day, and it came 100% in paper. Um, it's lemon, it smells really good. And I kind of use this as like a lotion, but um, it just depends. It, I have a low waste shop that I can go to to do refills, um, but I just wanted to try this out to see if I liked it or not because I'm always looking at new products that come in 100% aluminum or glass um, just to try them out and see if it works. And then next is, um, I like to always smell good because you never know where you're gonna be. So this is a perfume that I got, um, or the bottle rather, I got from Sephora a long time ago. And so what I do is I just simply refill it with perfume that I already have and I just keep it with me. Um, Cause it's the cutest little size, you can travel with it. Um, and I just keep it with me and keep refilling it. And I think this will like basically last me forever. So next are tooth tabs, which I keep in this little tin. Um, if I can open it, I'll show you boys. Struggling here. Great. So here are the tooth tabs. So I keep tooth tabs. Um, so these are basically toothpaste um, and you just kind of bite on them and then you can use a toothbrush to make it like toothpaste and it gets a little pasty. I usually use two. I like that extra clean fill, so I usually use two, but I think it's just cool to kind of keep them with you. It's small, convenient, and there's never a reason to have stinky breath. So, on the topic of smelling, I always keep my deodorant with me. Um, this is by Humankind uh, deodorant, and it's refillable, which I think is pretty cool. So you can take off the bottom and then put it in the refill packet, and it's been working pretty well for me. I don't use deodorants with aluminum in them. Normally I reapply this about two to three times a day. Um, usually like a normal deodorant with aluminum you only have to do once, but I feel like it's worth it because I'm not putting toxic chemicals in my body. Um, so it's worth it for me. The next thing I keep with me is a reusable bag. Um, these ones are super cute. They're black. Um, a lot of people have like light ones and I'm like, don't they get dirty? <laughs> so I like that mine is black. And, and I keep a produce bag with me as well. Um, I don't use it just for produce, but like let's say I went to, I don't know, Lush and picked up some chapstick or whatever the case may be, I would just throw it in here because it's super simple, super easy. And then I, I also keep a napkin with me. Um, these are reusable. I got them from a low waste shop in LA um, that sells a whole bunch of zero waste, low waste essentials, which is perfect. But these are super cute. I picked up a couple of these. They're called a no tax life in LA. I'll put them in the description box below if you wanna check them out because you can also buy some of their items online. If you guys have enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Let me know in the description box below below what other videos you want to see from me. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.